So we're just getting back from a long trip away. Finally back here in Nebraska. Timmy was uh, watching a farm, so I'm sure everything is good to go. But let's get to it. Driving over here. What the heck happened to the front yard? Wow. So I think I think Grant really did a great donation to the farm here. Pretty sure. Did he just uh, give it up? And decide to uh, bring everything over here? So I know Grant really had a bad flood, but I wasn't expecting this. I mean, this is huge. I mean, look at this donation he gave us. This is huge. I'm gonna go give Gina some loving over here. What's up, Gina? I missed you. Oh, I know, babies. But this is huge. We, this will definitely help out the farm. This is a great gift by Grant. I mean, look at all these. I mean, Timmy really came through. He must have been a little scared after our autonomous tractor demonstration. I think he really wanted to come through, and uh, he must have talked Grant into donating all his machinery. So, yeah. I mean, we got a truck on a truck here. A truck pulling another truck on a trailer. Is this Ford broken down or I don't So this is this is huge. I mean, I don't think we can use this many four-door trucks around the farm, but I mean, if he just given this over, I think I can give one of these to Timmy. Yeah, I think I'll give uh Grant's old truck to Timmy. This this will work out. <gasps> I get a 8132. Oh man. Man, this this will be like sister and brother working in the field here. This is huge, and I get a snow mo a snow blower here. Yep. Oh man, and Squad gave up his own trailer. I don't think I could promote it like the Squad does, but this is huge. This is this is a big deal by uh, Squad here. I don't even Squad. He just got this truck and he's handing it over. I'm pretty impressed by this donation. I mean, I'm a little bit... I don't even know if we really deserve this or not. But I'm telling you what. I'm going to use the heck out of this S690. It's got some big old floaters on there. I bet this thing probably uh, floated over all the way over here from the flood. But... Uh, Let's get all this equipment. I, I don't know if this has like water damage or anything. Let's get all this equipment and uh, store it away so uh, we can uh, itemize it and everything and maybe even do a huge auction. Like some of this stuff I'm not going to sell, but uh, I mean, if the Timmy really came through this good, I am definitely going to hand him over one of these trucks. So, yep. We're definitely going to give one of them trucks to Timmy. So, I'm going to have to go uh, thank Timmy in person. He's supposed to come later on today. Uh, so, I'm going to get Timmy started over here. So, the plan is I'm going to have Timmy, Timmy uh, start uh, chiseling out this uh, alfalfa. So I like the alfalfa, I really do. I mean, we got one heck of a crop off of this alfalfa. But, like, uh, it's really, I think, kind of bugging out the game. And, like, what kind of mutant alfalfa lasts the whole winter? Like, that, this isn't supposed to happen. Like, this should be, this is, like, rotten. So... We got to get rid of it. I'm just going to plant grass here instead, which I think we'll get a lot better use out of than alfalfa. I might cut down the field just because we got a little bit too much. I mean, 
we basically got the whole county fed in this one field so it's a little bit big we don't need that much we need some more cropland so once Timmy gets here I'll get him in that Steiger over there and uh, I'll get him started chiseling I mean until he gets here I think I'll start putting away uh, all of Grant's uh, equipment so Timmy was supposed to take care of the cattle too while I was gone and man he even fed the cattle I mean I wasn't expecting much from Timmy but when I was gone Timmy really came through I mean Timmy don't tell this but Timmy deserves a pay raise I don't know I, I'm gonna have to think about that I mean that, uh, that's a lot if I'm giving him a truck that's enough of a I mean talk about a Christmas bonus later a late Christmas bonus but uh, I think Timmy should like that I mean he will definitely like I mean, too, I mean, how many people get to ride around in a uh, squad's truck, too? I mean, it doesn't happen often. That grill is impressive there. This whole truck is impressive. Just about the same as this uh, one with the flatbed, but I really think I want to take end up taking this one myself. I mean, it even has its license plate already on it. I mean, score, we are set. So, yeah, let's see if this thing starts up. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Grant got his King Ranch out of there in time because, I mean, that's one of the most important things. You get your truck, then you get your combine, and then, uh, probably, uh, 8130, and then the rest of the stuff, you know, you get it if it's possible. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he must have gave it. I mean, the keys are in it. Who would leave the keys in the front yard? I mean, I mean, it's kind of odd that you just parked it all randomly in our front yard, but score built Ford tough. There we go. Yeah, so we are just gonna. I don't really know where I'm gonna park this, but uh, I think I'm gonna probably just park it away from our yard you know wifey she has serious standards so can't just you know leave stuff uh randomly in our front yard then i'm gonna have to hear about it till it's fixed so why not just fix it now so i think this group this uh shop here work good we'll call this the the grant the Grant's Grant uh, building. You get it? Yeah, I know. It's a dad joke. So we got a front face or flat face Kinwarf here. So I kind of like the blue on this old Kinwarf. Kind of nifty. I don't, I don't, I mean, some people may think this is ugly, but straight lines, I think they'll always be in style. But uh, as long as you're not going to have a head-on collision with a tree or something like this, this truck is awesome. Definitely. A weird grain trailer, though. I have to say that. I mean, you don't usually see this type of dump trailer used for a farm work. Maybe Grant plans on getting into some dirt work or something, but don't know. I mean... I've seen farmers make use of everything. I mean, technically, yeah, you could. I don't know. I mean, most of the time, I would think you might have some uh, grain leakage over here on the door, but maybe, maybe they made it good. I don't know. I mean, that thing, this door kind of pinches, and then when it opens up, it uh, releases, like, the fury. I mean, you definitely have to have, like, some type of, you basically have to have a huge pit. If you're going to open up this grain trailer because uh, even if you open up I'm just a little crack I mean it is gonna flow out of there quick you can end up with a huge mess or like me I'm not gonna be able to unload an auger with this it's just it's just not gonna happen well I guess it's going to happen but it's going to be a mess 
Like, you'll see the little uh, foot of the auger right there, and then just a big pile of grain all around it. Look at this. A little beast, man. He must really put the shine. I wonder what armor all he uses, because, I mean, look at all that shine in this cab. I mean, look at that leather seat. The thing you could see the reflection on it. Impressive. Let's see if this old girl will start. Yeah. Yeah. Starts up good. Man. Man. Feel like a winner today. All these items. Thanks to Grant. The great Grant Scrant. So I got my subsidy check, I got all the equipment I'll ever need, I am set. When the sun is shining, it is shining on me today. Like I said before, I think I'm just going to leave that, I'm going to figure out, I'm probably going to put this on Craigslist. So if you're interested, uh, I'm going to be uh, putting this up for sale don't know for sure if I'm gonna sell the truck just because I mean it's free uh, why not but the trailer I'll probably put up for sale but truck you're looking good buddy I might keep you so I don't know what year this is but it looks like it's pretty close to the same year mine is I mean he has a snow blower on there Looks like this got used, got a little paint wear on it, but uh, I mean, I don't have a snow blower, so why not? You guys saw the mess I was dealing with all year, so thank you. I mean, he must have really cares because he gave this to me to blow out all my snow. He must have been watching, you know, and a little bit realized I had a feed lot and I needed to blow out snow next year. I know. Grant, he cares. Huge. This'll this will work nicely. So we'll get this over and we'll put this right in the in our shed because why not? This you don't leave a eighty one thirty out in the sun. You put that away so it shines for a long period. I mean this thing This thing is nice. I think I like this better than my eighty two thirty. You know, mine, gotta say, it's a little bit bigger than Grant's, but this is, this is nice. Not that it's a competition or nothing like that, but I just would like it known I got a bigger uh, 30 series than Grant. Just, just so you're aware. Shut this door here quickly. Or, I mean, open the door here. Duh. I mean, we got plenty of room. Grant must have known. So, we're going to open these doors up. Yep, right in there. That's where it'll stay. Looks good. Looking good. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of farmers jealous because we got 230 series here on the farm now. I know, I know. I, I feel like I'm pretty special. So, you guys all notice what Grant put the closest. He, he must have really wanted me, he must have really been proud of his gift here. Because he definitely put his harvester the closest to the house. He wanted me to see it right away to know that this was his shiny gift to me. I mean, look at that impressive beast. We, It's all ours. So, we're not going to make a big deal about it or anything, but this is a bigger uh, John Deere combine than mine. But, uh... We're not going to make a big deal about it, but it is going to be a little bit bigger than mine. Uh, I had a S670, Grant has an X690. Oh well, but I kind of like the 
mine better, but I mean, this one is free. Didn't cost me a cent, so yeah. Probably this is going to be my favorite. Yeah, pro yeah, this is definitely going to be my favorite now. Hopefully this isn't waterlogged. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Starts up like a dream. Man, we got another 4020 on the farm too. I think that's 4020, and I almost hit a planter there. That was a close call. Whoa, 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 Gina. Watch out. Heavy machinery at work. Stay there, don't move. All right, thank you, Gina. We're gonna get this over. Not for sure where I want this, but I'm almost, I'm really thinking that I'm gonna almost display this just so everyone knows how, uh, what a great gift Grant gave to us here on the farm. Like, I want it known. So I, I'm gonna put it right out here in front so it's displayed. Everyone can see it. Yeah. I mean, right there. Like, everyone knows this is Grant's huge harvester. Now, it's Stevio's. It's all mine. I just want everyone to know how gracious Grant is, so I'm gonna put that right there. Looking good, buddy. So, uh, yeah, we got this, uh, 4020 we gotta move over. And the, the truck, we gotta move that over. So, we're gonna move the 4020. Oh, what is that? Good old little 4020 always starts up. Is this a 4020? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, it's a 4020. I mean, I guess it could be a 4010 or a uh, uh, 4000, I guess. I mean, I think this is ready for the field, don't you guys think? And just feel how much that chisels pulling this 4020 around. It has no respect back there. But I think this chisel is... This is... We're going to get this and we're going to put it in the field. No, I'm just joking. I know the 4020 can't pull it. But... Uh... I'm going to leave it hitched on just so uh, if Grant wants to borrow his tractor back and uh, use it for farming, he can. So a, a lot of my neighbors really want me to use this more. So I plan on, I mean, I need to pull over that old planter. So why not just uh, put it on the, the old white wart horse? I mean, why not? Just as well, I mean, we're not technically going to have to uh, use the auger for loading any grain in our bin, so why not? Yep. You can always rely on the workhorse starting up. So I think I'm going to go get the big chisel. Oh, you guys think uh, Grant's car is in there? Oh, we, we are definitely, if he left the keys in that car, you're going to leave the keys of your car, your race car, your famous race car, we are definitely going to play around in it. Alright, put the pin in, the jack, oh man, the jack is stuck, it's just stuck straight up and down, so... I mean, we're gonna just move it slow, so it should be all right. You know, these are like them weird pendulum things that never stop spinning back and forth. I don't know how John Deere made that, but. All right, we'll get this parked over here for us. Got 
all this equipment. I mean, some of it I'm gonna have to sell just because I really don't have a use for it, but uh, even if I sell some of it and I keep some, I mean, this is really gonna help the farm. All right, I'll unhitch that. I know I haven't put this old beauty in the shop much, so I'm gonna park it inside there quickly. Just because it's been sitting outside too much. We'll park it over here by my neglected winter project. Yeah, I uh, procrastinated on this a little bit too much. I'll get to you, beauty. So what are we going to pull his uh, DB60 with? I mean, why not? We'll just uh, use this old uh, 30 series. We'll unhitch this. We're not going to need this for the whole year. Unhitch that. Hook up, hook up the old uh, planner. Get it to rolling over here. All right. Now we got to hook up that beautiful, expensive new planner. So I was looking for another planner, and I got one. Here we go. I mean, I might just leave this uh, 8130 hooked up to this DV60. Just put the monitors in the cab and everything. I mean, this DV60 would be a sweet planning tractor. Got this. Man, we got two DV60s right next to each other planting. That will. I mean... Shoot, we'll start one day and end in like three days, probably. The only thing is, I, I think Timmy's probably going to have a real hard time pulling a planter. It's just a little bit too advanced for his, uh, just a little bit too much for him. But maybe if I go really slow and I, he just follows the leader and does everything I do, and we always plant the same field. But... Other than that, we'll just call it Fall on the Leader, and he probably will be good. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this will work out great. Man, am I having troubles backing this up. I, I mean, I really parked that 4020 kind of in the way. This DV60, I mean, it's so long where almost hit that, uh, that door saver or that uh, panel saver, whatever that thing's called, and post a few times. Back this up. So, probably just gonna leave it right here so I can get it all set up for uh, planting some uh, corn. Get it nice and simplified for Timmy. Now, all we have to do is I'm really curious I, I want to go over there and uh, basically I'm really curious if that if that race car is in that trailer you guys think that race car is in that trailer I, I just want to see if that race car is in that trailer that will be cool so what do you guys think I'm guessing it's in there I mean why would he not leave that race car and let's open this up here quickly where is this latch at I mean this is like has a hidden latch or what the heck should be some type of lock where the heck there's a hinge we'll figure this out I'm not gonna let it stump me that long oh Ho ho ho! It is here! Ho ho ho! You know it! Yep! Yep! Did he leave? Guess what? Yep! Yeah, you know it, we're gonna play around. So much for this grass! Yeah, buddy, here we go! Man, having fun now. I 
mean, you talk about sweet gift. I mean, this this is by far the sweetest gift anybody can give us. I mean, this will go a long ways, Grant. Thank you. I'm gonna put this nicely in one of our uh, sheds. Woo! I don't even know how to drive this thing so fast. Leave this right here. Go play with you. Yeah, buddy. Oh, let's see if this thing will start up. Alright, the keys are in it. Will it crank? I was a little worried it got waterlogged there or something. The mat came through. All the equipment came through here. But, man, we're gonna get this put over here nicely. Here somewhere. You know, out of the grass. It doesn't need to be in the grass. We'll get it somewhere nicely. I mean, we got a, a few of these low boy trailers, so don't know if I really need this low boy there. Uh, it's pulling, but uh, why not? You never know when you will or won't. Oh, looky there. Timmy showed up. I wonder where he's at. So, yeah. I kind of feel a little stupid. Like, I feel this tall. I mean, Timmy outsmarted me. Timmy. So, yep. Uh, apparently, uh, Grant's place over there flooded and he needed to, to evacuate his whole equipment lot so he decided to use my lawn which is completely okay I mean if a farmer's in need I am there so I felt stupid like I really thought Grant just gave me all this stuff anyways I'm just joking I already knew he didn't he just needed to evacuate this whole thing but I just thought you know beans his equipment was over here I had uh, the room inside our building and everything I would just put it nicely in our building so park it in here for him so once his uh, farmyard gets you know dried up and everything he can take it all back and it won't have to be outside getting sun baked and all that stuff so hopefully it gets you know I might even wash some of this stuff because it got kind of muddy coming over here so if you guys made it to the end of this video thank you all for watching thank you please subscribe it's free just click right down there like the video it helps me out a ton uh, you know share the video if you really like it but uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe